Ladies and gentlemen, my name's Paul. Hopefully you're having an amazing day. Is it possible AMD are working on a monstrous RDNA-free based GPU, which is considerably more powerful even than Narve 31? Well, the answer is possibly with an asterisk, and we're going to be discussing that in this very video. We're going to go into a little bit of backstory concerning this, and then trying to make sense of all of these rumors, because... Well, let's just say the story has been a little convoluted so far, and we're going to get right into it after this message from the video's sponsor. If you're running a copy of Windows 10, which isn't activated, of course, not only do you have to worry about the missing customization options, but there's also that annoying Windows desktop watermark reminding you to activate. Today's video is sponsored by WhoKeys.com, and they have an excellent price on Windows 10 Professional as well as Home Keys. Yeah, and they also, of course, sell games. I've bought a few Windows 10 keys with my own personal account to test everything was legit and worked in preparation for this sponsored video. You can pick up one of their keys for 25% off using the coupon code RGT in the checkout. There's links to their website in the video description. Also, if you're building a few systems, there's bundles available too. Again, you can check out whokeys.com and use the coupon code RGT for 25% off the listed Windows 10 key prices. So let's lay a little bit of groundwork first. For those who haven't been keeping up with all of the uh, Navi 31 and RDNA free information, because I think it's really important for us to kind of have a jumping off point for all of this info. So a lot of the early N31 and N32 rumors pointed to a dual GCD design. Basically the GCDs house the shaders, the rocks, ray tracing, all of that jazz. And then in addition to that, there was another set of chiplets and these basically were thought to be possibly memory controllers or infinity cache or something like that at the time we just didn't know fast forward several months and now basically we have a much better understanding as to what the design of n31 32 and 33 will be like you can see the specifications on screen yourself and also how the specifications have kind of changed over time from the rumors basically i believe i was one of the first if not the first to say that we're looking at more likely to be a single GCD for N31 and now others are stating pretty much the same thing. Further to this, it seems like we have 12,000 shaders. I don't think I was the first to mention that part. And basically, well, you can see the differences in both the infinity cache, memory bus, and so on and so on. So basically, the design is considerably different to what we have originally thought several months ago. And that's obviously the nature of the rumors that things change as we get more information. But here's the really intriguing thing. Um, if you've been watching the channel for any length of time, we'll know that I've mentioned several times at this point that I have heard that dual GCDs were at least considered at one point or another, and furthermore, there's probably some type of Radeon Pro Duo card. Now, this is basically two GCDs running, but to be clear here, this doesn't seem to be for gaming workloads. There is a couple of reasons behind this, and we're going to get more into the technical stuff in just a moment. But just for now, you can basically just put a pin on it. That It's a lot easier to get a compute-based workload uh, singing across a couple of GCDs than what it is a gaming workload. Basically, things like latency and all of that stuff, and basically just the GPU is actually doing the thing that's supposed to be drawing the frames on screen is a lot more complicated. It's considerably more work. So how it was basically explained to me anyway is that we would see dual GCD possibly, potentially, maybe with Radeon Pro Duo. That's A, assuming the product ever launches because even if the rumor that the product actually exists right now in some form or another is true. It doesn't mean that AMD are going to eventually launch the product. I'm sure all of you guys can think of at least several product products, excuse me, which just simply haven't made it to fruition, like Intel, Nvidia, AMD, Sony, Microsoft. We can keep going through the laundry list of companies that had a project, and then that project just never saw a commercial release, right? Now, here's where things get quite interesting. Recently, Greenman on Twitter was stating that he'd heard of a more powerful 
gaming-focused GPU that was significantly more powerful than N31. And I initially thought that it was actually the Radeon Pro Duo card, and basically I said, I think possibly you're thinking of that because the specifications were basically identical that he was initially stating. 16,000 shaders, uh, this would of course be eight shader engines total, um, and it's still not clear whether it's full N30, sorry, whether it's based on N31 or N32 as the actual chip inside the Radeon Pro Duo. Anyway, long story short, he's now stating that it's going to be 2023. I reached out to several of my sources and I was actually speaking to Grayman quite a bit yesterday. In fact, this video was supposed to have launched yesterday, but long story short... I got a little bit more information from a few other people and I decided to delay it because I'd rather have gotten as much info as possible. Now I want to stress that at this point I'm presenting this with so much conflicting information I'm honestly not sure what is right and what is not. I'm putting this out there so that you guys have an understanding of what's been said, what's going on. And then if it comes, you know, to launch as a possible RDNA free refresh, because I think if this product does exist, it is a refresh of RDNA free, then, you know, great, we have something to talk about. If it doesn't, and personally at this stage, I'm leaning towards, I don't believe it 100%. Either way. Let's kind of get into this. So, so yeah, to my understanding, this is a refresh, almost certainly, if it does exist for the gaming segment of RDNA 3, assuming it is a dual GCD design. And this is where things start to get interesting. Grayman seems to have indicated that it is a dual GCD design, but neither of us are 100% certain. Again, we were going backwards and forwards in DM yesterday, and as with the nature of these rumors, it's possible that it is just a larger single GCD. Don't forget one of the <laughs> rumors with RDNA 3 is that it could be 15,000 shaders, but at that point we thought that that 15,000 or so shaders was split across two GCDs. So maybe that 15,000 shaders was a single GCD that eventually will become the refresh. I'm not 100% certain on that. In fact, I'm somewhat skeptical. I'm just saying it is a possibility, guys. Like, at the end of the day, no one is 100% certain. But if it is a dual GCD design and it's based on the Radeon Pro Duo, um, again, I think that the Pro Duo um, is going to launch and it can work absolutely fine with compute-based workloads. And there is a lot of evidence that AMD are coming in that direction. The first and perhaps the most important are the drivers. Now, I think I was actually the first to mention that AMD were working on OpenCL and OpenGL and all of these other drivers. Actually, I don't think I was the first to mention DirectX 11, but OpenCL and OpenGL have been a really big focus of AMD. Now we're starting to see some leaked quote-unquote benchmarks now that basically the drivers have kind of gone into a wider testing group. I want to be as ambiguous as possible with this stuff because I don't want it to be kind of you know, I don't want who's giving me the information to even be slightly hinted at. But now that we're starting to see, like, you know, um, a wider test pool of individuals who have been included in these tests, you can start to see the benchmarks yourself, especially in OpenCL. And obviously, this is a really important market segment, potentially for AMD. So while it doesn't exactly say, yes, this is happening, that's not, that's not how one plus one works, you know, like, we can speculate. But it does indicate that AMD find... A lot of potential market share in you know prosumer compute workloads and that's not really a surprise the only question for me is how amd would actually market this given well basically obviously they're not working with apple anymore but still that's not to say that there's a shortage of marketing or sell fruit opportunities but that's slightly outside the, the topic here so if this product however if a dual gcd design does exist for gaming it would almost certainly be a refresh and have several changes so i've spoken to several sources one source told me that they think if this is true and they've basically heard through the grapevine it's potentially possible that it would basically be a refresh of RDNA 3 with some minor uh, changes and some other stuff, we'll get into the stuff in just a moment, to basically facilitate this for gaming workloads. To be clear, this would not be Radeon Pro Duo, but with different drivers. This is not going to be how AMD handled, you know, some of their Vega cards where there was very little 
to distinguish the gaming and the you know professional workload this is not going to be just like a slightly different bios with a different logo and a different set of drivers it would require some actually big revisions and to my understanding these revisions initially were designed to be in rdna3 but basically they slipped and then we're considering for rdna4 but now they may be bringing them forward now if that's not clear to you it gets more confusing believe me and basically what one of my sources has told me essentially is if this is designed around a gaming product we're almost certainly looking at some type of different connector basically some type of different interconnect solution um you would need some type of efb i was told and most likely on top of this they would need to basically sort all of the data syn uh, syncing across the interconnect and this, at least according to what my source had told me anyway, the Radeon Pro Duo solution wasn't intended to be like this. And again, um, I find this really interesting. I do know that NVIDIA, and I think I've mentioned this a couple of times quite a while ago, actually. Um, I think it was like when we started to first hear about the crazy power draw of RTX 40. Um, I do know that NVIDIA were considering launching an RTX 40 refresh for next year. Now, whether this is prompted AMD to do their refresh, whether the refresh of RDNA 3, this is assuming, I want to stress here, this is true. But whether this is AMD prompt, um, <laughs> trying to thwart NVIDIA, NVIDIA trying to thwart AMD, both of them are just like, our oh, script might as well while we're waiting for the next generation products no idea guys um so again i know this is not like I, I i'm just reporting this as i'm hearing it because i've heard so many conflicting rumors others are swearing to me that rdna3 refresh is not coming to gaming so this is really conflicting stuff and i'm sure i'm gonna have like a completely different you know update for you in several weeks time unfortunately not only are we dealing with rumors upon rumors but amd themselves are purposefully putting out misinformation to leakers and honestly i don't blame them nvidia does the same thing intel does the same thing it's how you know you have to deal with things and that's why I try to, you know, listen to the leakers who have, or the my sources who have given me stuff previously that's turned out to be accurate, but even they can be misled. So, yeah, I'm pretty confident in the RDNA3 information as a whole at this point. I mean, it's very possible. We are being debated, but generally speaking, I'm pretty confident about that. Um, I'm pretty reasonably confident about all the Zen 4 and some of the preliminary Zen 5 stuff, but we'll wait and see. Anyway, I think that's just about it for this video. Uh, I have to film a couple of more videos, so yeah, um, next couple of days I will be essentially, you know, time traveling into the future over the next couple of hours, but uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, you know what to do, leave a likey on the video and all of that jazz, and I'll see you soon. Take care of yourself, bye for now.